everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with a video on the new Dior Lolly Glow Spring 2019 collection. So spring has sprung and you guys know every spring we always get very fresh and colorful makeup and in this collection is no exception. So let's explore the theme of this collection. They say, for this collection, Peter Phillips, creative and image director for Dior Makeup, takes us to a world where color looks good enough to eat. This springtime glow so treasured by Dior is now more addictive than ever. From pastel pink to tangy coral, how can you resist the temptation of lolly glows? So this collection is pretty big. I didn't grab everything, but I did take swatches of everything at the counter. In this collection, they have Dior Addicts Lip Glow to the Max Colors. These retail for $34, and there are seven colors of these. And these are described as color reviving hydrating lip balms. Next, they have Dior Addicts Lip Maximizers. And these are maximum hydration and volume effect instant and long-term boosters. These also retail for $34. There are the Double Rouge Lolly Glow Lipsticks, and these are limited edition. It says that these are matte metal color and couture contour lipsticks, and these retail for $38. And the last lip product is a lip sugar scrub, and this says that it is a self-vanishing, sweet, exfoliating lip balm color awakening, and this retails for $34. There's two eyeshadow palettes in this collection. I have one of them. This is the packaging that it comes in. I have the color 447 Mellow Shade. You guys know that Dior products typically come in a sleeve. Here's the eyeshadow palette. There is a mirror here. It has a little opening here for sponge tip applicators that I'm not gonna use. And here are the eyeshadows. There's five different eyeshadows in here. It says it's a pale green, candy pink, ivory yellow, salmon pink, and opal green. And this retails for $63. This palette is also limited edition. The other palette that I didn't get had like pinks and blues and it really reminded me of cotton candy. That one is called Sugar Shade and it had a sky blue, a crude light pink, orchid pink, and a chocolate color in it. That one also retail for $63 and it's limited edition as well. There's also a blush in this collection that I didn't pick up because it was super pink. I don't typically wear that bright of a pink on my cheeks anymore. This is called the Rosy Glow Lolly Glow Blush and it says it is a healthy glow awakening blush. This blush retails for $45. And lastly, we have the Dior Skin New Luminizer Lolly Glow and these are the highlighters. They come in two different colors. I have one of them. I have the one in the color 0 7 Peach Delight. Again, with the sleeve, Dior's packaging is so luxe, right? And it retails for $49, and on the highlighter, it says N-U-D-E. Dior pretty much embosses that in all of their highlighters in some form, but this one is a different color than I've ever seen them have, so I was really excited to have this one. This is actually my birthday gift from Mill, so thank you so much. This is on my definite buy list, but she was like, do you want that for your birthday? And I'm like, yes. So this one is the peachy gold variation of the two highlighters that they launched. The other one that I didn't get is called Pink Delight, and this one is a very cool toned pink highlighter. It's very stark, and I already have a pink highlighter from Dior, so I figured I really didn't need that one. That one is described as a petal pink. Also retails for $49, and it's also limited edition. But This collection has a lot of pieces. These are the two that resonated with me the most. So if you guys want to see a tutorial with me using these two products that I picked up from this collection, then stay tuned. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So I have on a little bit of concealer on my eyelids. First thing that I want to do is go in with the Dior Backstage Eyeshadow Palette. And this one is the Warm Neutrals one. And with the Wayne Goss number 17 brush, I'm going to go in with the color Ochre. And I am going to apply this in my crease and blend it upwards and this is going to be our transition color so let's just diffuse this color so apply it directly in the crease and go in circular motions to buff this color out so the colors in the mellow shade palette do not have names so I'm just going to refer to it as this color so I'm picking it up with my MAC 242 brush. And I am going to apply this in the middle of my lid and then bring it upwards. Just going to pack this color on. It's like a really pretty iridescent peachy color. So I'm just building this up. As you all can see, I'm taking it up towards the crease, but not too much in the crease. If you need to, go back with your original blending brush just to buff out that product's edge, just to make sure that that line is diffused. 
but I'm gonna keep building this color up because it is pretty light. Next, I'm going to take this color with the Royal and Langnickel BOM 17 brush, and I am going to pop this right on the very outer corner and applying it like in a curved motion and bringing it up towards the crease. And again, I'm blending out the edge where it is on the crease, but I'm not gonna take it in the crease. So I'm just going to keep packing this color on until it's opaque. I actually am gonna spray this color with a little bit of Fix Plus. And let's further intensify this, yes. So again, going in with that first blending brush with no additional products, is going to help us diffuse that edge and make sure everything is blended. And then you also want to gently sweep on the outer corner too, just to soften that edge as well. So very light flicks. If you need to go back with a little bit of that peach color, just simply do so and then lightly tap on the edge of where that blue is. So once you have that blended out, now I'm going to take a clean 242 or you can clean your brush that you already had. And I'm gonna go in with this light color. And I'm gonna pop this underneath the arch of my brow and blend it over slightly and then bring it down. This looks really pretty so far. This is an Esam S31 brush. Let's dip into this lemon lime color and let's pop that on the very inner corner. Very carefully, super pretty. same brush and let's pop into this color. I want this color to be on the middle of the lower lash line so very carefully I'm going to begin to apply it. Let's put a little fix plus. Same brush in the blue and connect it to the top right on the lower outer corner. Let's bring that around. So beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and add liner and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the finished eye look. Oh my goodness, my eyes teared up. Whenever I put this blue down here on the lower lash line right here in this little corner, my eyes went berserk. Like they did not like that blue right there. I still like the way that my eye look turned out but I do think I have a sensitivity to this blue, so. So now let's apply this beautiful highlighter. I'm always so sad to mess up pretty makeup, but I'm going to take my Wayne Goss number 16 brush and let's highlight our cheeks. It's so beautiful. So pretty. I've been waiting to actually use mine until I did this video because I didn't want to mess it up before the video, but I already knew. That it was gonna be pretty because I've tried it two times before at the counter. Like a light peachy gold type color. It makes you look lit from within if you already have like a tanned golden complexion. I think that is so pretty. You can even further intensify it by spraying it. I don't want it to be that much. I like the way it looks like this. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Very pretty, very fun. I love the products that I used. Although that blue doesn't quite, quite agree with me. I still like the other colors. They're very light and wispy and airy. Very springtime, very fresh and fun. Fun. I like the trend that we're going in with the light washes of color. It's a more laid back approach to color. And I feel like people who aren't typically drawn to color may feel comfortable wearing colors like this. I think this palette is super cute. I think it'll be fun for spring. You can do one of these colors like as a pop of color if you didn't want to wear all of them all together. And I think that it's really soft and safe. So if you're a person who likes to wear color, but you have to keep it a little bit more minimalistic, say for work or school, I think this will be a really pretty palette to get. Plus the design of it is it's really pretty. But my favorite thing from the entire collection definitely is this luminizer. It is so pretty. I think the deeper your complexion is, the prettier that this color is going to look because on me, it definitely pops. For sure, if you're deeper than me, this is really gonna pop against your skin tone. You'll be able to see those coral and gold nuances in this highlighter and I think it's so pretty. It's very finely milled and it goes on very softly, but you can build it up and get it to be super intense. Like I said in the video, you can even spray it with Fix Plus to make it more full like but Dior highlighters are so sophisticated they give the prettiest sheen and it's like your skin is just glowing from within and it's not necessarily like powdery like on the skin I definitely recommend for you guys to check out their highlighters even if it's not this particular one I feel like they make one of the best formulations of highlighters so that's everything that I picked up from this collection let me know if you picked up anything from it let me know your thoughts on Dior at the moment I look forward to reading you all's comments and I will check you all in my very next video smooches
Bye.